Welcome aboard, folks. Thank you very much for listening in to uh, Your Voice Counts on Real News, Real Talk, Real People, RBN, because you can handle the truth. Thanks a lot, folks. Uh, certainly appreciate it. And it's uh, always a pleasure to do this show on, on these Sundays, uh, these Sunday afternoons. And thanks again uh, for tuning in. We have a very, very special and honored guest, the Honorable Senator Adlai Stevenson, author of the Black Book, and ardent supporter of the USS Liberty. And, Senator, we'll get to you in just a moment, sir. But first, I have to do some USS Liberty business, as I always do every week. And everybody that listens to my show knows that. First, I wanted to, uh, again, tell everybody why I do the show. I do it in memory of, of my 34 slaughtered shipmates, the 174 wounded, a $40 million ship ruined, destroyed, uh, by the State of Israel, uh, June 8, 1967. We were in international waters, not harming anybody, doing what our government had told us to do, and that was to pick signals up out of the sky, which was perfectly legal and still is today. But the, uh, the State of Israel decided that they didn't like that. The Zionist State of Israel did not like that. They they knew we were an American ship. They knew exactly who we were, the USS Liberty, and decided to, to murder every man aboard that ship, the very best friends they have in the world, their only ally. They wanted to murder us all, 294 souls aboard the USS Liberty. But we refused to go down with the, with the blessings of Jesus Christ. We would not go down even with all their filthy uh, dealings, shooting at our life, life rafts. We only had three life rafts left. They blew them out of the water. The old man said, we, you know, abandoned ship. They, two, they blew two of them out of the water and took one aboard the boat as a trophy. And I heard it was in a museum somewhere in Israel as a, as a trophy to their kill. You know, like people mount animals on the walls. Uh, a hunter. I'm a hunter. I do the same thing. Well, they they mounted a they mounted a life raft that uh, was off the USS Liberty, and the injustice that uh, the 34 men murdered that day and 174 wounded. The ship was so badly damaged it had to be scrapped. We were told never to say a word about it by the uh, Admiral, uh, Admiral Isaac Kidd at the time. He was the uh, convening authority at the Board of Inquiry. Uh, it was done with, in seven days with the help of John McCain, Sr., uh, the father of John McCain, the senator from the state of uh, Arizona. So, folks, that's kind of the run, rundown on it, and you can get all the information you want from my book, What I Saw That Day. You can order it online uh, if you would like. Just go to Amazon. You can pick up on it. Or I'll get you a number here in just a little bit that you can call in and, and get a better price on it. But, you know, I was uh, looking in the uh, in the uh, Webster's Dictionary today about injustice. Because I think that's what this show is, is about, is injustice. And it, it, it's, it, it says... Uh, wrongdoing uh, hang on folks we'll be right back we'll finish up with this and uh, stay tuned support your sponsors on RBN thank you As many of you know, natural supplements are fantastic for your body and have zero side effects. You need to restore your body's natural balance. TeraVim strives to carry only the highest quality dietary supplements and natural vitamins that can be beneficial in helping your body recover from the impact of daily stress, allergens, illness, environmental pollution, and the aging process. Why buy from TeraVim? Simple. TeraVim provides a rewards program. Earn $1 for every $10 spent, free health consultations, free shipping on all orders, and an additional 10% discount on every order when you mention the coupon code RBN. Call 866-647-4372. That's 866-647-4372. 
888-447-4372 or go to teravim.com. That's T-E-R-R-A-V-I-M dot com. Teravim, the best supplements on earth. Here at Republic Broadcasting Network, we have been building our online store. Well, we have been focusing on bringing you the best talk show host in the country. Here at Republic Broadcasting Network, we also want our listeners to have products they can use every day and in times of emergency. We have added new products each week to our store. Your support of this network, plus products at the best prices, is a win-win situation. Check out our new store. Go to our website, republicbroadcasting.org, and click on the online store located at the top of our website. Together, we can continue to grow RBN and help our listeners prepare for the future. Go to republicbroadcasting.org and click on our online store or call us at 1-877-605-9200. Corporate media dominates the American opinion. Finding independent voices that counter this avalanche is becoming increasingly difficult. With the endless corruption running rampant throughout our government, independent voices are needed more than ever to battle the offensive against our freedoms and liberties. As a listener of RBN, no one understands this concept better than you. Now it's up to you to do your part. The time has come for you to take action and begin broadcasting the truth to hundreds or thousands of people every month. Sound impossible? Quite the contrary. With pointed slogans from LibertyStickers.com, you can reach countless sleeping Americans unaware that they live in a real-life wonderland. LibertyStickers.com has a huge inventory of political bumper stickers and messages that reflect the truth about our government, our politicians, and the future of America. With so many in stock, there's one perfect for you. Visit us today at LibertyStickers.com. Again, that's LibertyStickers.com. Do your part. Your voice is important. Let it be heard. Welcome back, folks. Thank you very much for holding on and supporting your sponsors at uh, RBN. That's uh, very kind to you, and they certainly certainly uh, appreciate it, uh, as I do. Uh, before I uh, go on with the uh, little piece here on, on Webster's Dictionary, I wanted to give you the phone number for my book, What I Saw That Day. It's in a Sturge printing. It's, it's doing well, and if you already got it, send it on to somebody else to read it or or get it, uh, go to 888-698-8706, 888-698-8706. Tell them you heard it on this radio station, and Paul will give you a discount. Now, I want to read this right quick. Injustice, and that is what happened to the USS Liberty and many other Americans serving this country. A wrongdoing, malpractice, offense, a crime, a villainy, injury, infringement, violation, abuse, criminal negligence, transgression, grievances, breach, damage, infraction, a crying shame. Then it goes on. See also evil. That tells you a whole lot about what happened to us that day. See also evil. I want to say one more thing, and then I'm going to uh, thank a few people, and then we'll we'll get to uh, we'll get to uh, the senator. Uh, there's a fellow by the name of uh, Larry Brawls down in Alabama. He was a part of the crew of the uh, USS uh, Davis uh, 937 that that came to our aid the first thing uh, the next morning, 18 hours after the attack when our government refused to help us anyway with uh, jet aircraft. But anyway, the Davis did come alongside, and 17 sailors came aboard the uh, USS Liberty. We tied together, and and uh, these gentlemen uh, are getting medals. I know one of them is for sure, and the other 16 certainly deserve it. They're getting the combat action ribbon and the presidential unit citation ribbon. So I, thanks, I, I thank the uh, United States government for at least or the Veterans Administration for helping these men getting their their, their medals and uh, ribbons they deserve. And uh, thanks to John, uh, uh, excuse me, thanks to uh, Ron Kukul 
uh, a big part in this, uh, and I had a little bit of part to do with it, and it was my pleasure. Congratulations to you, Larry Broyles, on your overdue medals. Now we go to RBN. I'm never going to forget RBN and John Statmiller and what, how he stood up for the USS Liberty and continues to do it. Our board operator today is Sam a fantastic uh, person. I've never had the opportunity to meet Sam in person, but I certainly know his work, and it's outstanding. I really appreciate it. He keeps me in line, and uh, sometimes I need that quite often. So thank you, RBN. Uh, thank you, John Statmiller, for standing by the USS Liberty and getting the word out every week as you do by giving me the honor and pleasure of hosting Your Voice Counts. Also, my dear friend, Cat Faber, Faber, excuse me, Cat Faber. She does the singing and she does all the the, the lining up of guests. She does everything. Uh, she's our producer of Your Voice Counts. Uh, fantastic, fantastic woman. And along with her husband Rick, they just they just help us tremendously. And I couldn't do the show without them. So thank you, Cat, for your songs and all your hard work. And I know you've been a little bit down in the dumps, a little ill. Let's just pray you get uh, get well real soon and, and uh, let the sun shine in Minnesota. I know it's still cold up there. Thank you, Ron Kukul, uh, my partner in crime. He's always, he's always on board doing something, getting something done all the time. He just met with the governor of Wyoming. Just to uh, get the word out about the USS Liberty. Thank you, Rod, for doing that. And he, that he's going to continue that work. And of course, my good friend, John Gadusco, excuse me, John Gadusco down in uh, Florida. John was a former lieutenant intelligence officer aboard the USS Liberty. Uh, a very fine man, great man. He has a fine website. And I respect John very, very much. Go to Tiny. That's T I N Y U R L dot com forward slash USS Liberty. T I N Y U R L dot com forward slash USS Liberty. Now, we're going to get out to our, our special guest here, uh, former Senator Adlai Stevenson, but I guess you're never a former senator. Uh, this man and his wife have traveled over 80 countries. Uh, he serves in numerous businesses, numerous businesses. He's chairman of, of Mid, uh, Midwest U.S. Uh, China Association, author of the Black Book, which has the chapter about the USS Liberty in it. Uh, you know, uh, it's just on and on and on. Uh, you know, Justice of the Illinois Supreme Court and former partner in the law office of uh, Myron Brown. He served in Illinois. Uh, House of Representatives, 65 to 67, went on to be a United States Senator. And I'm going to get into here. There, there's so much to read here. I, I just, uh, it would take me the whole program. He's a graduate of Harvard College, 52, and Harvard Law School in 57. Uh, Adlai Stevenson, uh, is a supporter of the USS Liberty. There's no doubt about it. And, uh, Adlai, uh, Senator Adlai Stevenson III, 1980, his last year, the United States Senator from Illinois invited a, a USS Liberty survivor, uh, Jim Ennis. And Jim wrote a book called Assault on the Liberty, by the way, to his office for a private two-hour meeting. The discussion, uh, the USS Liberty attack and cover-up. Following the private meeting, the survivor, Ennis, was invited back the next day to discuss the attack with members of Stevenson's staff, along with members of the staff of Senator Barry Goldwater and members of the Senate Select Ar a Committee on Intelligence. In that staff, uh, excuse me, in that meeting, staff members told the survivor, Ennis, that they found history convincing, but they would recommend to both senators that they not pursue an investigation because investigation would only antagonize Israeli interests while nothing good could come out of it. Well, what nothing good can come out, come out of it other than cold-blooded murder, premeditated murder on innocent uh, Americans doing their jobs uh, in, in international waters? So uh, they nixed it. They nixed what this uh, fine Senator Stevenson was trying to get done. They wouldn't let him do it. It ended up with a, just a very few votes, I think seven or so. And, you know, his wife uh, has traveled extens extensively with him, and he was in he was in, uh, 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 not in the uh, war in 1967 with his wife, seeing and hearing evidence of uh, ethnic cleansing, little knowing of the attack on the USS Liberty until many years later. 
while a member of the Senate from uh, James Ennis. And we went through that before. Now, of course, James Ennis wrote a book called Assault on the Liberty. And uh, uh, even though James and I don't get along that well, uh, he did write a fine book. And I will have to give him that. Always will. But, folks, uh, I want to get to our uh, our guest, uh, uh, the senator. I'm not going to keep on line anymore because I could go on and on with, with his bio. But, uh, Senator, uh, thank you again for coming back on uh, Your Voice Counts. And thank you very much for writing uh, uh, The Black Book. So wherever you would like to start, sir, please go on. Oh, thank you, Phil. Well, I'm, I'm glad to be on your uh, program. You uh, have just given some of the background. But uh, in the Senate, and we're talking now about the 70s, I was chairman of the Senate Subcommittee on the Collection and Production of Intelligence. That was the subcommittee of the uh, Senate Committee on Intelligence. And uh, it was in that capacity that uh, I met with uh, James Ennis, who, uh, and from whom I heard for the first time uh, about the attack on uh, uh, on the uh, liberty, those you also mentioned, uh, uh, my wife and I were in Israel that summer of '67. Uh, uh, very shortly after the attack on the liberty, we we went through the we, we trailed the Israeli troops into the West Bank and the Golan Heights of Syria, circumnavigating the uh, Sea of Galilee, and we saw and we heard the uh, evidence of. Uh, you know, of what would later be called uh, uh, ethnic cleansing. That was the beginning of my, you know, uh, concerns about our policy in the uh, in that region. I've been back many, many times. But getting back to Ennis, um, um, the liberty, as you've indicated, was on an intelligence-gathering mission. That was the function of that ship. And I was chairman of the Senate Subcommittee on the Collection and Production of Intelligence. So I immediately uh, uh, went to my uh, fellow members of uh, that that subcommittee and uh, pointed all this out. I, I don't think they'd heard about the uh, attack either. And so I think we have a duty. Uh, this is our purpose. We have a duty to investigate. Well... Um, the only uh, senator who showed any uh, interest in investigating was Barry Goldwater. Otherwise, no, I had no. After you know, just there was no interest, and for reasons that are are obvious, the whole incident had been covered up. Um, though uh, uh, later, uh, the Secretary of State Dean Rusk, the Chairman of the uh, um, Joint Chiefs. Uh, uh, I think also there was a lawyer who, who, who represented the Court of Naval, the Court of Naval Inquiry, uh, who uh, broke 30 years of enforced silence uh, to um, also acknowledge that this is deliberate and he'd been a deliberate attack and he'd been um, ordered, you know, not, never to mention it. Uh, Absolutely, and, uh, Senator. That was uh, uh, Ward Boston. Yeah, uh, Ward Boston. Uh, yeah. That's right. It, it, right. This is all recorded in my book. Right. Um, we're going. We're, so we're going to go to a break in just twenty seconds. When the music comes on, I just didn't want to to uh, scare you out and stick around. When the music comes on, we'll come back uh, okay. right after. <laughs> Ground beef, eggs, butter, cheese, soup, sandwiches, strawberries, ice cream, coffee, and more. What do these foods have in common? They all come in storable, long shelf life food for you to save and use in uncertain times. Rather, if it is a meal or a snack, for a family or just yourself, CampingSurvival.com offers a huge variety of storable food for you to be prepared anytime. Go to CampingSurvival.com to order all your food. Eat today, save it for tomorrow, or store it for years to come. CampingSurvival.com sells healthy, nutritious, storable food in number 10 cans and pouches. 
Order online today at CampingSurvival.com. Use code FREEDOM and receive 5% off. CampingSurvival.com. Remember, save 5% off with code FREEDOM at CampingSurvival.com on all your prepared food needs. Herbal Healer Academy's new summer specials. Our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Organic liquid iodine, liquid cal, meg, vitamin D, CoQ10 with Hawthorne, colon enhancer, super 2, natural laxative. Our exceptional product connects in memory power and super male and femplex. All on sale for the summer at herbalhealer.com. Also 10% off on the HHA survival course. This is an important time to have this information. Might save your life. Nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Herbalhealer.com. Free online newsletter. Quality natural medicine supplier since 1988. We ship the same day you place your order. Free 128-page catalog with your first order. Go to HerbalHealer.com today. HerbalHealer.com An effective 100% organic nutritional supplement is now available to be shipped out to you. Rush Delivery. Heart and Body Extract is a 100% natural, organic, and wild-crafted formula made out of garlic, hawthorn berries, hawthorn leaves, coleus, motherwort, bilberry, butcher's broom kill, mistletoe, ginger, and cayenne pepper. It is an excellent formula designed to balance and support the heart and circulatory system. It is extremely effective and starts to work within days. Order your two-month supply by visiting heartandbody.com or by calling 866-295-5305. 866-295-5305. Take the high road to a long and happy life. Heartandbody.com. They said that Israeli forces knew not of the liberty's true identity. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back, folks, to our very, very special guest, uh, Senator Adlai Stevenson. And I also wanted to say uh, Ron Kukul, uh, you know, uh, one of the uh, guys aboard the ship that was in charge of body recovery and, and identification. I know he's he's got a little bit of hearing hearing problem. He's getting a lot older and Ron, please turn turn up your hearing aids so you can hear all this show. And uh, Senator, please go ahead, sir. I I I think you also indicated that um, an aircraft carrier in the vicinity launched uh, aircraft to uh, go to the rescue of the uh, Liberty, but they were called back by Washington. Yes, now, sir. I think you know the main point for people to be concerned is not just the injustice um, the wrong that was done to uh, the uh, American forces on that uh, vessel but what it says about our politics why were why were American aircraft uh, prevented from rescuing an American warship and uh, why was my subcommittee so uh, intimidated after all it only took a fictitious attack in the Bay of Tonkin to uh, make the you know to give to uh, create war uh, by the United States against uh, Vietnam. Fictitious uh, weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, and we go to war. But what happens in the case of Israel? We don't go to war. We subsidize uh, Israel, um, and to the point now where. Um, the whole of the you know Middle East is uh, um, uh, destabilized. The United States is uh, uh, really disserving uh, Israel by subsidizing Israel's defiance of the United States. Uh, we've always supported the UN and the U- our own uh, uh, the, the resolution supporting a uh, you know t- uh, two-state solution. While going along subsidizing Israel, as it makes that solution impossible with its uh, uh, aggressive colonization of uh, the West Bank and until recently Gaza, which is blockaded, and uh, the Golan Heights of uh, 
of Syria. Israel is a nuclear power, uh, yet we sanction Iran. We don't uh, sanction uh, uh, Israel, which doesn't even belong to the NPT. I, I authored the uh, Arab anti-boycott uh, law to make it unlawful to uh, for American companies to join the boycott of Israel. I've always tried to help Israel. I believe it's possible to um, help Israel and the United States. But what we've done now, uh, and it's just, a, I think, a really tragic commentary on the corruption of our politics, is to endanger uh, the United States and Israel. Um, you know, after the Likud came to power in 1977, uh, uh, and Egypt was uh, neutralized uh, at Camp David, uh, I could see the handwriting on the wall. That's when I began the first uh, in-depth study, perhaps the only one to this date, of terrorism and introduced the Comprehensive Anti-Terrorism Act of 1979, uh, predicting uh, more terrorism, predicting uh, spectacular acts of destruction and disruption and international uh, terrorist scene. There was another measure to um, reduce uh, funding uh, for Israel, rich, uh, defiant uh, Israel, until such time as the president could certify that its policies were consistent with American policies. I wanted to demonstrate that uh, given a choice between supporting the United States and support Israel's uh, radical government's defiance of the United States, the Senate would support Israel, I got seven votes. And, of course, the media is as intimidated as the politicians. You still don't hear much uh, um, about this uh, history. My uh, legislation wasn't uh, passed, and I paid uh, a very high price. The lobby came after me uh, when I was running for governor, and they finally got me by one vote in the Illinois Supreme Court, which denied a recount after a tied election and proof that I had, in fact, uh, uh, won it. And that deciding vote, uh, that one vote, was cast by uh, Seymour Simon, who just a couple of months ago, a few months ago, he's, he's, or a few months ago, a friend of his told me that he, ta he had admitted to him that uh, he had voted, uh, as he did, to deny the people of Illinois their choice of governor because of Israel. Well, I was trying to help Israel, and many of my Jewish friends, including one who was president of the World Council of Jewry, agreed with me completely. But um, not many American politicians will um, stand up uh, to what is loosely called uh, the lobby, although I find many, many, many uh, Jews, as well as non-Jews, uh, uh, appalled by the policies of this uh, militant, uh, right-wing, defiant uh, government in uh, uh, in Israel. Pretty soon, all of Israel is going to be isolated in a sea of hostility, which could have been avoided. 9-11 could have been avoided. I predicted it and tried to. Senator, uh, that's heartbreaking to hear that you were denied the governorship. We'll be right back, folks. Support your sponsors on RBN. What a story. We'll be right back. Thank you. listening to the Republic Broadcasting Network because you can handle the truth. What do you need? Hmm, you need Paracord. CampingSurvival.com is providing you U.S. Military 550 Paracord. 550 tensile strength, military specifications. Made in the USA. Available in 3,000, 1,000, 600, 300, 150 links. You can purchase yours now at CampingSurvival.com. Lowest prices on Paracord. Huge selection. All ready to be shipped. 
black paracord, 1,000 feet, only $39.83, right now on CampingSurvival.com. But wait, use the code FREEDOM when purchasing and save 5% off. Paracord is a unique material used for many different reasons. Get yours from CampingSurvival.com now. Confidence born of preparation, CampingSurvival.com. Corporate media dominates the American opinion. Finding independent voices that counter this avalanche is becoming increasingly difficult. With the endless corruption running rampant throughout our government, independent voices are needed more than ever to battle the offensive against our freedoms and liberties. As a listener of RBN, no one understands this concept better than you. Now it's up to you to do your part. The time has come for you to take action and begin broadcasting the truth to hundreds or thousands of people every month. Sound impossible? Quite the contrary. With pointed slogans from LibertyStickers.com, you can reach countless sleeping Americans unaware that they live in a real-life wonderland. LibertyStickers.com has a huge inventory of political bumper stickers and messages that reflect the truth about our government, our politicians, and the future of America. With so many in stock, there's one perfect for you. Visit us today at LibertyStickers.com. Again, that's LibertyStickers.com. Do your part. Your voice is important. Let it be heard. The five self-evident truths of the Declaration of Independence are the standing definition of our Republican form of government. Each unalienable right has an attached duty because we are all created equal. Like the right, the duty is permanent and non-transferable. There can be no paper to lean the right and no paper to waive the duty. Deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed does not mean if you can think of it, you can consent to it. Truly, it names a condition where a right must be held without violation of its duty by both parties who can then consent. Our grand jury has been destroyed without the consent or the right. Return the grand jury customarily impaneled by the elected county sheriff and one where people can appear with information. McGilvery Machine Company, Reading, Michigan. Innovative research and development of prototype industrial equipment since 1988. Welcome back, folks. Here we go to your voice counts, and what an interesting, interesting discussion we're in here. Uh, and I left off, uh, Senator. I'm, I'm deeply uh, disheartened and, and, and disappointed that that uh, your governorship was taken away all for the sake of Israel. And I might add, sir, that uh, uh, aboard the USS Liberty, the lives lost were all all uh, taken uh, for the sake of Israel. And also, I found out today, the United States government signed a unbreakable bond, as they all are with Israel. If if Israel goes to war or, uh, with Iran or Iran goes to war with Israel, the United States is going to jump in there, and that's down on paper. I don't know if Hegel did it. I think he did when he was he's in the Middle East now, or Obama uh, signed it. But, sir, how come Israel always comes first in the world, and not just the United States, but the world? Money. I told you a moment ago uh, that my uh, uh, amendment to reduce funding is by $200 million a year, roughly the cost that we were contributing to the illegal settlements, uh, only got seven votes. One of the senators who... Uh, voted uh, against my uh, amendment, came up to me afterwards and said, uh, Adley, sorry, but uh, I'm up for re-election. Now, <laughs> that was a senator from North Dakota, and, you know, probably aren't a whole lot of uh, Zionists up, uh, up there, but the money goes uh, a long way, and no matter what office you run for or any time, you take this risk. Now, I think it's diminishing, but in the meantime, politicians have all persuasions and stripes uh, uh, are, are uh, intimidated. So, you know, maybe it's my fault that <laughs> I showed them what happens to you if you uh, get out of line. But it's really putting the country at risk. You mentioned Iran. I've been to all of these countries. Uh, we forget that it was the United States which intervened in 1953 to overthrow the popularly elected uh, nationalist uh, president of uh, Iran. Uh, President uh, Mossadegh and installed a hated Shah 
and his police, the uh, Sabak, uh, who in turn were, uh, 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 you know, were overthrown. And now, uh, you know, we sanction uh, uh, Iran, which uh, is not yet a nuclear power, though it uh, has, uh, you know, incentives to become one in order to uh, defend itself. Uh, and you mentioned, uh, uh, the, you know, the obvious, but uh, you mentioned uh, Hegel and our defense of uh, support of Israel if it goes to war with Iran, but Iran is a signatory to the Nuclear Proliferation Treaty. IAE uh, a inspectors are there. Israel is the nuclear power that has not signed the NPT. Israel has attacked us, not Iran. So we subsidize uh, um, subsidize uh, Israel and uh, uh, impose sanctions on the poor, suffering people of Iran. Now, it's really very hard uh, for people in the world to understand such irrationalities. We went to war in uh, Iraq. Uh, that was against the uh, Ba'athist regime, the secular Ba'athist regime of, of uh, Saddam Hussein. It was the enemy of al-Qaeda. In other words, we let Al Qaeda get away in in, in, in Afghanistan and, and, and then attack his enemy. Very hard to explain, except for the same uh, reason. The uh, there's a project called the Project for the New American uh, Century, which has uh, origins in Israel as well as with the um, neoconservatives in the U.S. And the first stage of this project was regime change in Iraq, and the next is supposed to be regime change in uh, uh, Iran. And not many Americans, you know, uh, politicians at least, have the, and not many in the media either, have the courage to share the truth with the uh, uh, American people, and in so doing, help um, um, help Israel as well as uh, our own country. And by the way, my book, the Black Book uh, records American history and the world as we knew it in my family over uh, five generations. It goes back to a great-great-grandfather who uh, persuaded uh, Lincoln to run for president, among other things. It records uh, the values of another country, and that's why I'm writing it. I want to contrast the values which, which created uh, our country with those which I'm afraid today uh, undermine it. Over these uh, these uh, uh, many generations, uh, uh, almost 200 years, um, service was every citizen's, uh, you know, welcome duty. When my time came, I, I joined the Marines and I volunteered for combat in uh, uh, Korea, and I served there as a, uh, uh, a tank platoon commander. That wasn't unusual. Uh, we all uh, volunteered. We had a you know, our wars were waged by the citizen soldier until uh, uh, recently. We now have our first professional standing in military. In any event, my book is available at my website, Adley3, numeral 3, dot com, and it covers all kinds of subjects, uh, law, and the, you know, media, not just, uh, it ends uh, with a epilogue on the life cycle of nations and Empires. It ends in China, which is uh, uh, on the rise, and where I spend a fair amount of my time nowadays, having failed uh, uh, in the Middle East. Uh, Senator, you know, uh, I'm, I'm glad you uh, mentioned your uh, site to get your book, and we'll do it again at the end of the show. But what interests me very much is, you know, uh, you speaking out. Uh, for America, trying to trying to uh, seek the truth, trying to get uh, some some kind of uh, uh, some kind of uh, recognition, uh, 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 at least to put Israel, you know, on the hot seat. But he, if you do that, uh, well, like Paul Finley and and uh, Pete McCluskey and Hostetler, uh, these are all help. friends of mine too. Paul yeah, Finley they're, they're, is from all, Illinois. Gone. Yeah, and and they've all well, been on my is, show. He he paid the price. Yes, and, and and uh Chuck Percy uh, who really didn't do much he paid the uh 
Price. He was my, uh, you know, Republican Senate colleague for um, for many years. And Pete McCloskey, you mentioned, he's a fellow Marine. Uh, um, yeah, and that uh, is these, these cases uh, are not lost upon American politicians. So I don't know. I can't. They, there may be some out there, but I can't, I can't think of anybody uh, at the moment. They gave Hegel a hard, a hard, some of them a hard time. He fortunately got, uh, uh, you know, nominated, and he seems to be a uh, 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 a realist and to have barely, uh, you know, he barely survived the confirmation process in the Senate. But really, very hard uh, among elected officials to find anybody uh, with the courage to be right and to serve their country. Absolutely, to serve to serve their country, the country, the United States of America, and you know, sir, you 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 serving honorably as a tank commander in Korea. I can only imagine the heartache and the heartburn and the suffering that you've got that you guys went through in that in that God forsaken for, forsaken country. Uh, my father in law, he fought in Korea, the, uh, chosen, frozen, frozen, chosen, and. Oh, no chosen was God, God awful. I got there just as it closed, you know, ended, but I, I saw, uh, just, you know, unbelievably inhuman uh, conditions. The people, you know, that country was just devastated, it had no economy to speak of. Anyway, war is terrible, and I have, I have a chapters in my book, uh, uh, war is easy, peace is hard. It's much easier to go to war um, than it is to wage peace. No medals and monuments for the peacemakers. Uh. It is. And here we are in a, in a very uh, unstable, uh, volatile world. Uh, you know, just uh, yesterday, uh, this is not really off topic, but, but it's, it, it is just a bit... There was one man that held a whole city hostage, over a million people. Now, you know, you couldn't walk out your front door without getting in trouble. So what does this mean, sir? Do we better we better stock up on food and bullets and guns and everything else? Or, or what does it mean that the government, is the government that powerful? Well, it must be that powerful. Uh, to have one man shut down a whole city is unbelievable to me. What yeah. do you think? Well, I, 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 I can't, you know, fathom the reason or purpose behind this. I don't think anybody at the moment. I, I, I think it's important though to, to, at least I feel real confidence in the decency and the sense of the American people, and you saw it. In Boston, the reaction of so many was not to run away from, but to the rescue of the vic- of, of the uh, victims. I think the American people are owed the uh, truth, but we're uh, creating a culture of uh, violence. It's on television. It's in our the wars we uh, uh, wage. Members of Congress always sort of look for the military. Uh, solution. We spend almost as much, maybe more if you added it all up, uh, on arms uh, than all the rest of the uh, 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 world. And uh, neglect our economy, and the you know sort of net result of it all is that we lose our influence and our authority, along with our uh, political and economic security in the uh, 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 world. We ought to be focusing on the economy, and we ought to be restoring our values to our uh, politics, waging peace once again in the world, uh, making diplomacy and international cooperation an alternative to uh, uh, force, and standing up. Uh, you know, if there's one issue that could bring about stability, uh, it's a resolution of the Palestinian uh, uh, issue. Bring peace to the. Middle East, um, there's, you know, other measures and uh, issues that have to be addressed, but that is uh, central, and I don't uh, see many or really any elected officials uh, um, supporting 
the uh, only basis for a resolution of the Palestinian issue, that is to say the two-state solution, withdrawal of uh, Israel from its colonies in the West Bank and Golan Heights, with adjustments, of, of course. All the Arab states have long since uh, accepted uh, this. They've accepted our, our proposal. Arafat accepted it in my presence. Uh, only Israel rejects uh, it, and yet we subsidize Israel and sanction others. It, it it's it's just uh it's crazy uh you know since 1967 uh, when they attacked our ship uh they kept on getting more money and more money but you're right uh uh the politicians run away from any criticism of Israel and and uh, run towards uh APAC uh, ADL ICE and others in support of of uh the, their uh, Zionist state and the people that are paying for it dearly, and, and you know this, sir, firsthand a lot better than I do. Uh, of course, I do know a lot of Palestinian friends that I have on the Internet and met personally. But they're suffering. They're suffering. They're suffering uh, terribly at the hands in a concentration camp. Uh, they close the border. They open the border. They shell them. They don't shell them. Uh, they, they cut off the water. They throw dirty diapers in their wells and on and on and on and on. And, you know, uh, to bring peace to the Middle East, all, all, all it's doing right now is bringing more hate, more hate, more hate to little children that grow up to hate the Israelis and the e- Israelis to hate the little children of the Palestinians and the, and, 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 uh, anybody that isn't, uh, uh, a, uh, a Jew or an Israel or a Zionist Jew, but sir, we have. Uh, I usually don't take calls, uh, but uh, this is a very important one because I always take calls from survivors. Uh, Ron Kukul, uh, uh he was in charge of body recovery and identification. A very fine person, I respect deeply, and I would like to bring him on air. Ron, uh, come on, and you can ask uh, the senator any question you'd like, sir. Oh, thanks a lot. Uh, Actually, I just wanted to say hello to uh, Senator Stevenson, and uh, and I might like to uh, also say that uh, Phil's uh, uh, hearing aid uh, statement is a little bit of intimidation. Uh, he does that to me uh, lightheartedly on about every show, and uh, I have to laugh. Uh, I, you would think I was the only 73-year-old man in the whole United States of America. So, <laughs> Seventy-two. You're a child. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that because I'm pretty sure the very first time I talked to you, when I asked you on the show the first time, I told you how old I was, and you said you ain't nothing but a pup or something to that effect. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I haven't gotten any younger since then. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure, well, no, neither have I, sir. I don't think you're doing just fine. Little, Thank you, sir. I, I just want to say hello, and and I, I want to just get out of here quick because Phil, there might be some other calls there that uh, I'd like to see some other people get on here. But uh, I got you knew I was going to call. Uh, I, the intimidation was just too great, so I'll get off here for now. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Good to hear from you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, th- th- thank you, Ron. Uh, I wasn't taking any calls except for uh, survivors and. Uh, uh, the reason I do that uh, is because this this guest is too important and has too much to say, and we didn't get enough time last time. So, Senator, uh, please go ahead with uh, any comments you'd like to uh, go ahead with. Well, I think we've pretty much uh, um, covered the uh, the uh, uh, attack. I just I've also you know organized the Adlai Stevenson Center on Democracy to try to address some of the causes for this politics because it's not only the uh, bought uh, blind support for Israel's uh, radical and destructive government. Uh, we have to be concerned about uh, the integrity and the intelligence with which we approach all issues. Uh, um, it's an indep- interdependent, a dynamic, a nuclear World, the dollar is declining, depriving that world with a, uh, of a re- reserve uh, currency. We face, uh, um, you know, the rise of China, which could be very, very positive, but it depends on us. China doesn't want to be our enemy; it'll only be our enemy if we want it to be our enemy. Our economy, the income and wealth inequalities in the United States are far exceed. Uh, uh, any in the Western world, uh, um, 
you have to go back at least to 1927. Senator, 19. we're going to go to a break, and we'll be right back. And we'll finish up the show. God bless you. God bless everybody. Real news, real talk, real people, RBN, because you can't handle the truth. Support your sponsors. Thank you, Sam. You're doing a great job. Golden Stag Safaris invites you to hunt in one of Argentina's most beautiful scenarios. Enjoy the quietness of the Pampas and the five-star accommodation lodge. Excellent food and wine included in your stay. All the while hunting big game in the Argentine Valley. An area known for having a wide range of game, excellent trophies, the biggest stags in South America, as well as many other species. All gold medal quality. One-on-one -on -one guided hunts, rental guns available with the highest quality scopes in every caliber, Land Rovers for transport, pickup at Buenos Aires Airport, and a private aircraft for charter is all available. Go to www.goldenstagsafaris.com to see photos and for more information. Again, www.goldenstagsafaris.com. Com. Time to relax and unwind. What better way to do so than with Santa Barbara Bells? For over 25 years, our wind chimes have been helping people to relax and enjoy life. Turn your home environment into a pleasurable experience. From the small overture chime to the large super bass. You will find just the right chime to enjoy. All wood, strings, and cordage are protected for long life, and all parts are rust-proof. You have 10 sizes to choose from. To see and hear more of the chimes, go to SantaBarbaraBells.com or call us at 805-733-1513. Santa Barbara Bells is currently having a springtime sale. Come to the website and save up to 50% on all of our chimes. Santa Barbara Bells. Dot com. Now more than ever, killing many viruses and bacteria in our homes and at work is important. With the flu epidemic running rampant, you need to protect yourself and your family the best you can with purified air. Our air purifiers not only kill many viruses and bacteria in the air, but on surfaces too. Our air purifiers will also kill molds, fungi, mildew, oxidizes chemical fumes and toxic gases, removes dust, pollen, pet odors, and smoke. We have portable units, HVAC and industrial size units. In our homes today, protect your family the best you can by calling 1-877-605-9200 or go to our online store at republicbroadcasting.org. Call today to receive your 10% off and free shipping on any home unit. Oh, welcome back, folks. Welcome back, folks. Here we go. It's my fault. It's my fault, uh, Sam. Uh, I inadvertently hit the off button, but I, I have to say this. I was thinking this, uh, 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 Senator, uh, through your service and your contribution to this great, great, great land and, and, uh, uh the land of Lincoln and, and, uh, and you, you helping, uh, your, your, uh, 
your family helping Lincoln uh, become the president of the United States. And, you know, people say we gladly give our blood and uh, or it was taken from us or whatever. You know, I, I gladly gave my blood to America as the, uh, all the men yeah. aboard the USS Liberty. But uh, and, and, you know, because we did it because we respect this country. But it seemed like it was sucked out of us by a vampire. Uh, and I mean that vampire by the state of Israel, and nobody came to help us, and they didn't care about our blood. They didn't care about our lives. They didn't care about uh, our mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and everybody else. And Israel got by with cold-blooded murder. That's just, uh, just the way it is, and, it's, and, and, and our government uh, is covering up for them, and Israel is uh, still covering up. And you but, know, it's just but, a, but, you know, Phil, I, I think... To be fair to Israel, it's a radical government of Israel. There's a strong peace movement in Israel. There's a strong peace movement of, among, uh, you know, Jews here. But apex has got the money, and, and, and this illustrates, and that's how influential money is. Some six billion dollars was invested in the last federal election cycle. Um, whether it's uh, uh, health services, we have the world's most inefficient, whether it's uh, gun control, whether it's regulation of financial services, we've had a financial... Money speaks. There would That money wouldn't be pouring into our politics if it didn't get results. It comes from investors. It doesn't come from the uh, tooth fairy. And, uh, you know, the... Uh, so I, the U.S.'s liberty is a t terrible tragedy. It's a terrible commentary on our politics, but it's one uh, illustration of how, our cor how corrupted our politics has become by the money that uh, uh, pours into it. So I, I hope that in addition to addressing um, you know, the issues, the real issues in the Middle East, along with many Jews, uh, Israelis as well as Americans, we can address the corruption of our politics which is undermining our interests across the board, creating these huge uh, inequalities, for example, unprecedented in, in wealth and income in the United States, weakening our econ economy. And that's why well, we've created the Stevenson Center on Democracy. I, you. You, I hope you get my book. You know, oh, well, I'm gonna, uh, uh, listen, Senator, I, wetter, I will. We'll, we'll get this book on John DeGusso's site. And uh, thank you, sir. And uh, thank you, RBN.